time at the gateway to Scandinavia, in Germany's most northern town, Flensburg. This tranquil water is the Flensburg Fjord, and I could sail to Denmark or drive there in 10 minutes from here. And I can walk across the road into the 700-year-old town centre. We'll see the historic old town, the Altstadt, later. But first, I want to see the origins of Flensburg. Let's go to the place where it all began nearly a thousand years ago in 1080. The St. Johannes Church, the Johanniskirche, is the oldest church in Flensburg. It is built from stones collected from the fields by the settlers. We believe they started to build the church nearly 900 years ago, in 1128. Church marks the settlement area where, as legend has it, a castle once stood. The castle with its turrets was built by the knight Fleno to protect the traders and merchants, craftsmen and fishermen who had settled here and on the shore of the fjord. to enable him to demand tolls from every passer through. Duke Knut Lavard had commissioned Fleno to build the castle and he named the growing town in honour of the knight Fleno's Castle, Flensburg. You can see more of the old stones on this side. And look at the surrounding houses in this area called the Johannesviertel, the Johannes Quarter. It's one of the many fountains that Flensburg is known for. See the Altstadt, the historic old town. Something characteristic of Flensburg and its mix of German and Danish architecture are these merchants' courtyards through these arches. The town has a motto, New Life in Old Courtyards, 
And now you can visit restaurants, cafes, galleries and artisans' workshops in these historic courtyards. I wonder what these were used to store in the past. Probably there are modern German cars inside now. Let's have a walk northward down the Große Straße, the Great Street. This is the Flensburger Gewerkschaftshaus, the trade union building, which was a bank built in the Gothic Revival style in 1906. You can see the Hamburg State coat of arms on the left and the Flensburg coat of arms on the right. There was a time in the 18th century when Flensburg was Danish and an important commercial port for the Danish sugar trade. This led to the production of rum from the molasses and to Flensburg being known as the Rumstadt, the rum town, with over 200 rum houses. Today there are two left and the Prasch rum house even has a museum you can visit for free with rum tastings. This church, the Holy Ghost, Heilig Geistkirche, was built in 1386 and it is the main church of the Lutheran Danish people here in Flensburg. here. It's almost entirely preserved and this residential house was built in 1868 as the first one to use the Hanoverian brick gothic style of building which is specific to northern Germany. This is the Nordermarkt which to me sounds like the northern market square the oldest in Flensburg from 1170. I find it incredible to think people have been trading goods here for 852 years. In the 1800s, you might have bumped into Hans Christian Andersen here, for the Danish author of fairy tales like The Princess and the Pea stayed in an hotel on this market square. This version of the Neptunbrunnen the Neptune's Fountain isn't the original one from 1595, it's the modern one from 1758. We can thank the Flensburg Beautification Association, der Verschönerungsverein Flensburg, that we are able to see this cultural monument today, as they have taken measures to protect and preserve it. This building is called the Schrangen and dates from 1595 and for many centuries you could buy that fabulous German bread here in a Bäckerei, a bakery and for the 400 years Flensburg was Danish, Danish bread which I haven't yet been able to try. We can walk through here to reach the Marienkirche, St. Mary's Church which the people of Flensburg started to build in 1284.
Let's have a look at the other side. It's time to go down to the harbour. I wonder how many sailors had a final drink in this old pub on their way to the beautiful Flensburger Fjord. Normally I do a little vlog here, but I forgot because I filmed so many of the stunning buildings that I wanted to show you in Flensburg. So I'll link a video where I vlog a lot in case you want to see who I am. Lots of love from Germany. Bye.